It worked. Happy, uh, I see, I almost said Tuesday, and it is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Isn't it Wednesday? No, it is Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It wasn't a national holiday. It's just that the Daytona 500 ran a day late. Wow, I am really with it. I'm that guy. You probably knew that already because you're one of the 30 people that watch this. Thank you for watching, by the way. I'll try to entertain you. And if not, um, hey, train sounds. about that Daytona 500. In retrospect, I'm really glad I watched that instead of watching Raw, which was, you know, eh, kind of... A lot of people said it was wonderful, but I didn't think it was super wonderful. It's okay. A lot of dudes talking a lot. At least there wasn't a long, overwrought Triple H Undertaker segment. We got a recap with music instead. Not that that's an improvement. But the race was great. And that was the sort of thing you kind of wanted to experience live. Even though it had that long two-hour delay in the middle of it, it was really interesting because, let's face it, it's not often you get a car running into a jet dryer. That could happen so infrequently that when it did happen, Fox's cameras didn't really catch it very well. What a shock. Fox Sports uh, not quite up to par when it comes to mainstream sports coverage. The only downside was there was a lot of, and this happens in wrestling a lot too, is that there was a lot of Mike Joy trying to explain to people who had never seen racing before how racing worked. And it was like, really? Do you need to explain the wave around? Is it even going to happen? It's kind of like whenever you turn on wrestling and they assume you've never seen wrestling in your life. Oh, he's got a five count. Oh, if it gets to ten, that's the end of the mat. You know. You can kind of pick this stuff up as you go along if you are a first-time viewer. And nobody's a first-time viewer. Everybody's seen it before and knows how it goes. That's my editorial. Thank you. I got a big alley right here. And it's like, you can't really... It's too low. You can't really squeeze anything out of this. And it hurts. But that's what happens when I eat next to nuts. I break out, but I like them, and they're chock full of protein and fat, so it's always something. Cashews and almonds. I don't know if I was super late with yesterday's video, or if it was just that there was so much of it, so many other things going on that people didn't have a chance to watch it or they did watch it but there was nothing worth responding to but all I got was one message, one lonely message from Mr. Baffo continuing on the theme of whenever these videos end on YouTube they give you a list of suggested things to watch inevitably there's that grid of nine videos and they all have Honda CRZ in the title so Bafo asks, I see all YouTube's choices for related videos for the Honda CRZ. Are you good, bad, or indifferent about being associated with the Honda CRZ? Well, being associated is kind of depends how you look at it, I guess. Do I wish they hadn't used that particular set of letters to name one of their cars? Yes. What am I going to do about it, though? Although I kind of hoped that they would have come to me and tried to buy me out, but no such luck. Or at least uh, have me in the commercials. I don't know how that would work either, but everybody's all viral these days. And I'm sure I could viral it up with the rest of them, or the best of them. I need to shave, too. Somebody got on me about my cybers today, too. Which probably means I'll continue to not cut them. Yeah, I like this part.
Okay, no, two parts. One thing I've noticed about recording videos is if I put music behind them, they get a lot bigger and take forever to download. Download? They take forever to upload. Because I upload them. You download them when you watch them. That's your problem. But I got some time to kill anyway. By the way, it's 619, and the current temperature, I don't really think it's 30 degrees. Let's find out. Phone, what temperature is it? The phone says 33. That's more believable. It's raining right now. I mean, it might be freezing raining, but it's not snowing. All the snow we were promised didn't happen. But it may happen tomorrow. I don't know. I, I got to stay late tonight. I got to be here for a 7 o'clock call. So conceivably, I could be here till 8 o'clock. Now, I could take the laptop home and try to work from home. But I'm not that smart. And there's a 50-50 chance after I take it home that I will forget how to hook it up and I'll miss the meeting. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to stick around for another hour at least after this thing's uploaded, so I'm not too worried about size. Goodbye, train. Where was I? Yeah. But I figure by whenever I leave, I'll have a good indication of what the weather's probably going to be like tomorrow. No, I probably won't. But I will probably take the laptop home. And then, depending on what it's like in the morning, I'll either work from home. In which case, there won't be a video on Wednesday. Or I will just bring the laptop back, having not done anything with it. In which case, it'll be business as usual, and you won't even know the difference. There's a red splotchy thing. I should put makeup on for these. I keep trying to make my eyes do weird stuff. It freaks people out. I don't think I'm doing it, I don't think I'm exaggerating it enough for you to notice that they're moving apart. Fortunately, you don't log into these from my handsome face, or do you? Hmm, what a handsome face. <coughs> I think that's all I have. I know I had some stuff I was going to fart around with if I didn't have anybody to talk to, but... I could give you a ramen update. Remember when I bought that ramen? I have eaten five of them. Beef, shrimp, hot and spicy flavor with shrimp, roast chicken, and once again, hot and spicy flavor. Hot. Ooh, look, it's exploding. The thermometer, it's so hot. Which means, I haven't had any of the regular chicken yet. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Chris, you said you were going to sympathize with the Catholics and abstain from meat on Fridays during Lent. And I responded to that by saying, you weren't really going to ask me that, were you? I had to bring it up myself. And how did you know every single ingredient list for every single flavor contains chicken broth? I didn't know that. But even the shrimp flavors, which is what I had on Friday, one of the shrimps, contains chicken broth in the ingredients. Now, I looked it up on the internet, so you know it's true. But actual Catholic authoritarian type people say that broth is not equal to meat. So, you can have broth on a Friday. So chicken broth is okay, and therefore... Mao Chan instant lunch with shrimp is okay. So, dodged that bullet, didn't we? Of course, we went to McDonald's and had the filet fish deal. And Saturday, my body told me to stop going to McDonald's for a while. Oof. So let's end on that note, shall we? I'm near the end of my time anyway. You can see what it's like if I don't have anything to react to, so please... Respond, comment on Facebook, comment on YouTube, comment on the W. I'll get to everything, I promise. I'll see you tomorrow or maybe Thursday, weather permitting. We shall see.
that's your cliffhanger for the day.